The Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria and APWEN was formed in 1982 by six outstanding female engineers. In no particular order are Engineer Joanna Ulutumbi Maduka, FNSE, Engineer Mayen Adetiba, FNSE, Engineer Nkechi Yere Isigwe, FNSE, Engineer Ulufumi La Kaduri, FNSE, Engineer Wankego Ojuko, FNSE, and Engineer Beatrice Odini, FNSE. Since its inception in 1982, the association has had of 15 past presidents, with the immediate being the inventive engineer Felicia Agubata, who introduced the Invented Beauty program. In a bid to ensure Nigeria gets more female engineers in future, the Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria, APWEN, visited various villages across the country to encourage female primary school pupils to embrace science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in a nationwide program called Invent It, Build It, which is sponsored by NNPC. They are mapped out visits to seven states across the six geopolitical zones of the country began with Bauchi State, where they visited Central Primary School, Misao, Tsukhana, Engineer Dr. Maikanti Baru, the former GMD of NNPC. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Thereafter, pupils from 30 primary schools in Misao local government area participated in a series of experiments conducted by Akron resource persons. Then lucky pupils emerged winners and were given scholarship awards that will cover their education to university level provided they study engineering. From Bauchi, the Akron team moved to the ancient city of Benin for the second edition of the Invented Beauty Project. This was done in honor of two illustrious daughters of the state, engineer Dr. Patricia Nekman of Benehodili and engineer Valerie Ifueko at Berba for their contribution to engineering growth in Nigeria. Some lucky young girls also emerged as winners after a test. This time, emerged winners after series of experiments. Number one and nothing less. Kano, Abelkuta, Kogi, Anambra, and Bronu concluded the five other states touched by Apron with an invented beauty project in an effort to give scholarship awards to primary school pupils. Though, as always emphasized, the scholarship will cover tertiary education of the girls if only they study engineering in the university. The other four states that hosted the Invented Beauty Project are as follows. Kano to be the best, number one and nothing Abiyo Kuta. less. The best, number one and nothing less. Lead me to my destiny. I have waited patient count. Kogi. So stand up for the champions, for the champions. Anambra. Stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Some of the pupils and parents could not control their emotions and were full of praises for the unequal impact NNPC is making through Apple. I'm grateful. I feel happy. I feel excited because I didn't expect this. Even when they give the scholarship, where we thought it was it was a joke, 
or it was a fake. So to my greatest surprise today, it's a great testimony and it's a great joy that I cannot express now. Yes, I'm happy because of uh, the load and the burden of thinking of how to sponsor her have been taken off my neck. I'm a teacher, my wife is a teacher, and our joy is that we we'll have no fear of how this girl future will look like because the school fees have been taken care of. Happy, 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 girl. Make sure that I will work hard and study hard to solve Nigeria problems when I go in the future. When somebody is giving a gift, the person will feel happy. So I feel happy today to be among the people that my parents will know be among the people to pay my school fees again. My school fees is handed over to a, to a higher person. Appwin, with the support of NNPC, has so far given 81 scholarships to pupils from the six states visited, coupled with the construction of ultra modern sciences and technology laboratories. From here, Appwent proceeds to a new era, an era under the watch of the prolific and detailed engineer Fumilola Eljelade, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers as the 16th president of Appwent. An engineer that has shown and proven over time a competence and dedication to the ideas of Appwent. First, we want to encourage the study of sciences in the girls, we realize that so many girls do not, they run away from the sciences and particularly engineering, people still have this belief that you need to be a man to be an engineer. Okay. And we want to show them that we are girls, we were girls, we are now women, we studied engineering and we are practicing it and we are enjoying it and we are not any different from what the men are achieving so they can also study it. Appoint Abuja Chapter has the honor today of renaming the best female science student event after our founding chairperson, Engineer Bello Okeke, FNSC, FICE. <laughs> the event is not to be called Engineer Ebele Okeke Purple Brass Banquet for best female science students in FCT secondary school. And I, when I see women in the profession, I usually, I, I just love them. I said, this, this is where I want to be. I'll study harder so I can get more things like this and keep up with this. Engineer Odella J is ready to take up the baton from her predecessor, continuing in the attained successes while implementing new plans. I need to be grateful and I will continue to commend the vision of the immediate past president, engineer Dr. Felicia Gubata, FNSC, for, for, for that work. It's such a great one and a huge one. And a lot of lives have been impacted and was with her throughout the time that we went around the whole nation to, to recruit what I call engineer girls and uh, give them scholarships from primary to university. So it's such a laudable thing. I see lives that are touched in very, very overwhelming ways. So it's a, it's a project that we must continue. But we're going to need to go a little bit more, we'll streamline things, continue with our project. It's taking care of the primary school girls. We have a program already that takes care of the secondary school girls. We call it Introduce a Girl to Engineering, where we would like to focus more at this time, uh, the adults graduating students from universities and young graduates. Because people continue to go out of school and they, they are not fit for the industry. So how, how can we bridge that so that the, they can pick up skills that are required in the industry? And we're looking at uh, partnering with some multinationals to do this. If we can invite them, and then bring together our, our own people to our female engineers, graduating students, like I said, and young engineers, put them in a kind of town hall meeting so that these multinationals will talk to them and, and um, expose them to the kind of skills they require so that those in school can now focus 
and concentrate their studies and know that if I'm able to to study like in this particular way and pick this kind of I can this kind of skills, then I can work in in this um, multinational. So that is what we want to do, so that uh, we can help to solve. There are quite a few of these, and we, we started in a way. There are quite a few of these multinationals who are looking to increase the percentage of female engineers they have in their employ. I've come across a few like that. So why is it difficult? There are so many girls, female engineers, don't even have a job. No, you are saying you I can't find any female engineer to hire. So there's a disconnect there. We are, we are going to see what we can do to bridge that gap. Time is certainly of the essence for engineer Fumilola Aljolade as she has begun executing the task set before her on a high note by launching her two-year reign as president with a courtesy visit to the state governor of Osho State. First, I would like to appreciate you, sir, Your Excellency, and your cabinet for creating time to see us today. For me, it's a glorious homecoming, considering that I'm a daughter of the land, who has lived outside of Osho State more than I've been at home. I'm happy to be home for a number of reasons. First, I'm happy to return as a pride of the state of Osho. <laughs> Since the creation of the modern of Osho State in, on 27th of August 1991, that is almost 30 years, this is the first time that an indigenous of the state of Osho has emerged as the appointed president. President in 36 plus years of existence, and we we elect a new president every two two years. We don't do second term, so that tells you you can do the math. I know the number of presidents that have emerged, and now Oshun coming up for the first time. In other words, Oshun has produced the number one female engineer in Nigeria. It is significant. It is you know that this is happening during your tenure, sir. I must uh, first of all congratulate. Uh, our own, who has made us proud. And in, in, in those days, we used to think that engineering is exclusively served for the men. But you've actually proved all of us wrong that engineering is a profession that is even and more populated now by women and they're doing pretty well. So we congratulate you for this wonderful achievement and uh, we look forward to you continue to drive the engineering. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Step by step, you're on your way. You're welcome to brighter day. Feels good to be alive You could be larger than life Bigger than the world Living out the hopes and dreams Of every boy and every girl You could fly higher than the sky Shoot brighter than the stars You could have all you ever wanted Shoot the moon and reach for Mars You know you could Audio jungle Yeah It's time to change from visiting the governor of Ocean State, engineer Ojaladi in a legend-studded convoy through the weight of the support behind the new president of Nigerian Society of Engineers, engineer Baba Ghana Mohammed FNSE, making their presence known at his investiture in Abuja. It's a great one. Number one is the success, the attendance, but most importantly is the president's speech, his vision, for technical education, which uh, that's the education in technical schools, you know, how he intends to pay attention to that and make sure that these schools are they are delivering what they should deliver and that engineers are also delivering what they should deliver. In so, the that, words of a boss, Mr. Abbas Musamawa, he said, Engineer Ojalade is a great asset to the company and they will in turn give necessary support to Upwen. She's uh, a very big asset to us, Abelant of Bona Dates. And uh, because of the fact that it's an engineering aspect, uh, that shows that uh, it's even naturally we should be able to support you. We should be able to support you. So I tell you that we're going to support you, we're going to support her, and uh, we want to appreciate and thank you for the feats that you have achieved. 
um, to find it worthy, find her worthy of uh, electing her as a new president of their own association. And in Afun Lola Ojelade, the new president of APWE is a brilliant engineer. I took notice of her early at her meetings because of her brilliant and witty contribution. And uh, in fact, I started calling her my ogre, as I often do to people who so impress me. I will call her or okay, and she will say, ah, I know fit. And so I'm happy that uh, another brilliant engineer is taking over from Dr. Engineer Mrs. Agubata. Engineer Fumi Lola Ojela, a fellow of the Nigeria Society of Engineers. As a friend, we call her and it's a funeral. It's a capable and dependable engineer. She's one of the very few women who are continuously pressing for the progress of their modern Nigerian women. She's intelligent, hardworking, and pays so much attention to details. She's a team player. She will bring everyone all the time there. Fumilola, Kikolomo, Ojelade is warm and friendly and sometimes shockingly down to earth. She is good company and, ex and an extremely pleasant guest, relaxed and undemanding, which shows good breeding. Funlola is generally easy to please, yet a few of us call her headmistress. Yes, headmistress. Because when it comes to the profession, Funlola is a stickler for crossing the T's and dotting the I's. But that is understandable because one can't be careless with printing money. Yes, I want not there who. Funlola listens carefully and then takes her time to consider her actions. Fumilola, namesake me as we address each other. Continue to be a team player. Continue to see the bigger picture, even as you take care of the small things and God will establish you as an undeniable asset to Apwen and to your generation. God bless you and lift up your hand mightily. In Jesus' name, amen. The button that has been passed from Engineer Felicia Agubata to Ojilade for me is a button that has been passed to a good teammate who I know and I believe we keep the speed for the ultimate goal, considering uh, the speed with which Engineer Agubata ran her tenure and all that she has achieved. Um, Ojilade, I believe we keep that speed and um, we look forward to celebrating her after two years. I've known her for a relatively short period of time, but during this period, she's had a profound impact on both my personal and professional life. She's an, she's an extremely articulate, intelligent, and honest individual. I recall that during my tenure as uh, Technical Secretary of the Nigerian Society of Engineers in Torah Island Branch, she reviewed almost all my work. I made my tenure uh, a, a successful one. I owe it all to her. I also recall when I had to make a, a, the presentation of a technical uh, paper in Kenya on sustainable infrastructure development in Sub-Saharan Africa. She reviewed that document so thoroughly, uh, almost during the toil at some point. But I persevered somehow. And eventually that uh, paper turned out to be a world-class piece of work. I owe I it all to her. I can say that she's a passionate and focused professional. She's extremely dependable and trustworthy. Engineer Funlola Ojelade is an intelligent, 
multitasker, she's resilient and an excellent engineer. Engineer Jelade, integrity, compassion for others, and the tenacity to accomplish goals. These are the words that best describe you. I shall know because I've known you all your life and the fact that we also grew up under the same roof. These traits have helped shape you into the transformative and dependable leader that you've become. I've seen over the years as you, as you selflessly spend your time and resources to improve the life of others across the country. You've proved time and time again that it is a deed in the act of giving that one receives. Governor Yitola of Washington State recently said that you are a national role model for your gender. This is true, but I'd like to take this even a step further, that you are a role model for all. Yoruba people say that I am thankful that you are my sister. Our mom is beaming with pride that she raised a great one. On behalf of the Chekanyifa family and her late dad, we are all proud of you. Our friend once again has gotten it right by putting a round peg in a round hole by selecting a perfect replacement for engineer Dr. Felicia Agubata. There is no doubt better days are ahead for Apwen and young girls in all parts of the country and for Nigeria as a whole under the leadership of engineer Fumilola Ojelade. FNSE.